I already made a video on Lineage OS custom room, but this one is actually something different. This is Lineage OS Micro G Edition. What is the difference between normal Lineage OS and Lineage OS Micro G Edition? I'll talk about all those things in this video. Stay tuned and also I'll share with you my experience about this one, how a de-googled OS is working fine for me. We have Lineage OS version 19 as you can see and you can see Micro G. Alioth, I'm testing it on Redmi. No, sorry, this is Mi 11X. You can consider it as Poco F3 or maybe Redmi K40. October security patch, I mean, I'm using the latest version and the first highlight is yes, it's Micro G edition. So the thing is, it's basically alternative of normal Google apps. I mean, first of all, we have a safety net issues in Lineage OS. Whenever you use Lineage OS, you always have the safety net issues. You need to root your device to pass safety net. But in this case, like I'm using the Micro G edition, I don't even have the safety net. I'll talk about safety net later on. But let me tell you one, two more things here. For example, you can see we have Google account adding option. It is not basically proper G apps. It is a micro G edition. So only few of the Google Play services things will work, which will not drain the battery, which will not track me. This is a very, very useful thing. To be honest, we have a lot of extra things. And here comes the safety net part. If you have ever used my geo on your device, you might already know that this will not work if your device has root. I mean, even if you pass the safety status, it will still not work. But in this case, as you can see, it's working perfectly fine because safety net is just does not exist anymore. Another interesting thing which we found here in this Lineage OS Micro G edition is we have F Droid pre installed. And I mean to say, whenever I install any app from F Droid, it will not ask me to install it as an APK because F Droid is available as privileged extension and which will automatically install the app like I have installed from Google Play Store. Whenever you install any app from Google Play Store, it will not ask you to install it as an APK. As you can see, it's done. It, are, it is automatically installed and this is looking super good. And all these things are pre-installed. You have a very good alternatives available for Google Play Store. This was the first one. The name is Android, one of the best Android apps out there for open source apps. If you are interested in open source apps, you can check out my other channel named as Karan Arora for all those open open source apps videos here comes the google play store alternative the name is aurora store this is just awesome almost every app which is available on google play store is available here so yes you don't need google play store anymore if you were thinking about micro g services like you have these options you can still use the google play services you can still use the google apps like google play store apps from aurora store and the thing is these things are working perfectly fine if i want to use some google apps i can you can see i'm using gmail i will be able to install it i'll be able to use it no issues for me i'll be able to use my google account without having any issues this is just awesome and my experience with lineages elliot lineages micro g edition was just awesome here are these apps YouTube, YouTube Music, YouTube Studio, if you're able to notice, these are apps from Google, Google products, and I'm able to manage my channel from here. I'm able to use YouTube, YouTube Studio, YouTube Music. Yes, these things are working perfectly fine. Here comes the safe net part. One thing let me show you, as you can see, the Google Play Services API error, which means Google, this safety net thing is not existing anymore. I don't need to pass safety net status. It's not even failing. So this is just awesome. If I want to use a safety net thing, I can. I can use that safety net status. I can use that safety net module to pass safety net status if I want to, but I don't need it anymore. So that's absolutely okay all those things which were available you already saw that but if you take a look at some customizations of course this is lineage so you don't expect all those customizations you can root your device install some magic modules if you want to but by default this is almost pure stock alongside with some of the customization related to status bar like clock customization some battery indicators the things which are available in stock android also are available here this is a very good custom room and in my experience i will definitely prefer you if you want to install a custom room and you don't want to use the, those google apps tracking things on your device you must give it a try at least once because i was too satisfied after using this one that is why i'm sharing with you here these are my experiences i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this and i will see you in the next video until then goodbye